What is going on, YouTube Nation? This is Dark David, and if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so don't miss future videos. So I have three dividend stocks to buy that have solid dividend growth. These are popular companies, and these are the requests that you guys gave me to do reviews on. So a lot of you guys have mentioned also to you know post uh, videos on certain stocks, and I already did reviews on them recently. So you got to hit that notification bell because. I'm pumping videos out right and left. I'm going to try to squeeze one or two in this weekend. Don't quote me on that because I'm way behind after this exam. And I want to thank my buddy Rob Nathanson uh, with Palmia Beer. Um, it's a company that I Angel invested in. He gave me this for free. I'm not getting paid for this video. But he gave me this t-shirt. And I'm going to say I tried a sample of his beer. It's a lemon-infused beer out in Cali in Vegas. In Vegas. He sent it to me. It's actually doing really well right now. So check out his beer. It's really good. And I've had friends out here try it. But the one thing is, I, I made some big moves today too. I really want to discuss that. So I remember I was told you that I angel invest and I put some money in one of these companies and I didn't like their philosophies and they gave us a buyout option. I got like a hundred percent profit. And I bought 24 shares of Maine, one share of Franklin Resources. And I also threw in $120 in HTBK again, and like one or two shares of IVR because I have leftover um, money on that. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, just Dark Dividend. I'm on Instagram there. Make sure you fo follow me on Twitter at Dark Dividend 23. So let's check these stocks out right now. So the first stock is Jeffrey's Financial Group, and it has a dividend yield of 3.17%, a PE ratio of 6.21%. Volume 1.85 million, market cap 8.95 billion US dollars. Its year range was 2482 to 4447. Day range was 3709 to 3820. And its previous close was $37. So here's the SP. Right in line with the SP, it has good growth right there. Pandemic, if you got it at 1434, oh, 1234, kudos to you. And it's in line with the SP not beating the S&P, but it looks like it's a potential traditional or Roth IRA material because it is increasing in price per share, which makes these guys attractive. But let's figure out what these guys are about. And I swear, every time I think of like Jeffrey, I think of Jeffrey on like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. It's just like an automatic. I used to watch that show all the time. But Jeffrey's Financial Group. So it's a diversified financial services company engaged in investment banking capital markets, asset management, and direct investing. Jefferies offers a wide uh, range of investment banking, equities, fixed income, assets, wealth management, product, products, and services. So they have some things that are pretty popular and in demand. Okay, so they got banking, they got all this. And where are they located? That's something that we need to look into. First off, Jeffrey's Financial Group is an American financial services company based in New York City and listed in the Fortune 1000. So that is per Wikipedia. So I just want to let you know. And JEF is a symbol. Now, let's see how they're doing revenue-wise. Now, already, this is a winning situation. Let me scroll this up right now. So this is in millions of U.S. dollars. 3035 4,077, 4,077 again. It could be a typo on, on this. 3,764, big deal, 3,892, 6,010, 8,185. So these guys are growing. They took a little bit of a hit, big deal, because look at how they're jumping up right here. 6,000 and 8,000. Again, this is in millions of U.S. dollars. So you're seeing a significant increase from 2016 to 2021, 3,000 to 8,000. That's pretty attractive revenue-wise as a financial company. What's even more attractive is their dividend history. Now, right here, the dividend growth is very, very attractive. It's 10 cents, 12 cents. Looks like a special dividend 2019. Then it was 12 cents and 15 cents and 20 and 25 and 30. So you are on to something. Right here, it's 37.90. PE ratio is 6.18. The dividend yield is 2.7%. That's not bad. Annual dividend is 120. So you're seeing growth. 10 cents in 2018, 2022, 30 cents. 
So JEF, the symbol, it looks like a very attractive dividend stock. The dividend yield's not bad, and it looks like a great dividend growth stock. Let's jump to the next dividend stock. And that next stock is Donegal Group Inc. Class A. DGICA is the symbol. Dividend yield is 4.55%. PE ratio is 12.42. Volume is 3.55K. Market cap, 435.58 million U.S. dollars. Year range was 1351 to 1648. Its day range was 1389 to 1429. Its previous close was 1405. Now, this is a dividend stock looks extremely attractive. Now, it's not a traditional or Roth IRA material because you like to see price per share go up over time. You like to see dividend hikes. You like to see the price per share go up because you want your net asset value to increase you know significantly that's my philosophy with having a traditional or roth ira certain stocks or etfs you want growth in the price per share you're not getting that with this one but let's look into these guys the donegal group is an insurance holding company whose insurance subsidiaries offer personal and commercial property and casualty lines of insurance in the Mid-Atlantic, Midwestern, New England, and Southern regions of the U.S. The insurance subsidiaries of Donegal Group and Donegal Mutual Insurance Company conduct business together as the Donegal Insurance Group. Companies Class A common stock and Class B common stock trade on the NASDAQ under the symbols DGICA and DGICB, respectively. As an effective acquirer of the small to medium Main Street property and casualty insurers. Okay, so they have a profitability since inception. The company continues to seek opportunities for growth while striving to achieve its long standing goal of outperforming the property and cause casualty insurance industry in terms of service, profitability, and growth in book value. Okay, so let's talk about their revenue. So these guys are backing up their mouth. This is in millions US dollars. 586, 636, 688, 739, 771, 812, big deal, 777 because of the pandemic. I will blame the pandemic card. This is none of this is financial advice for entertainment purposes, only disclaimer in the description. You are seeing trends in these past two dividend stocks. But we need to look at their dividend history. Again, the symbol is DGICA. Let's check out their dividend history. And already, this is looking attractive. Here's 2006, eight cents, 2007, nine cents, 10 cents, then 11 cents, then 12, 12 and a half, then 12.75, then 13, then 14, then 2017, then 15. And then 16 in 2021. They have increased their dividend since 2006, it appears. Like a little bit of a bump, but it went up since 8 cents in 2006 to 16 cents in 2022. So dividend growth isn't very fast but it's a cheap dividend stock it has a dividend yield of 4.56 percent a pe ratio of 12.24 annual dividend of 64 cents and it is increasing in revenue over time dgica looks like a dividend stock to buy good decent dividend growth stock let's jump to the final dividend stock and that last stock is dow inc d-o-w is a symbol it's sitting at 60 60. this is a big chemical company so its dividend yield is 4.62, the volume is 5.73 million, the market cap is 44.82 billion US dollars. Year range is 5207 to 7138. Day range is 6054 to 6172. The previous close is 6121. So what do these guys bring to the table that make them a very attractive dividend stock? And here's what these guys bring to the table. Agriculture, feed, and animal care, that's big. Automotive and transportation, beauty and personal care, that is big. Building, construction, infrastructure, that's big. Chemical manufacturing and industrial, consumers, goods and appliances, 
electronics, film tapes, and release liners, food and beverage, that's big. Healthcare and hygiene, that is big. Home care, industrial and, and institutional cleaning. Mobility, that's big. Oil, gas, mining, that's big. Packaging, paints, inks, and coating, that is huge. Power, water, and telecommunications, that's big. Pulp and paper, textiles, leather, and non-wovens. So, here's other things. Additives and mod modifiers, sealants and adhesives, a means, that's a big one, conductive materials, and plastomers. So they have a lot of stuff, and I'll show you their revenue real quick. So here's our trends from 2016 to 2020. So 48,158, 2017, 43,730, 49,604, 42,951, 38,000. You can blame the pandemic. Uh, but the one thing is they are pretty consistent. This is in millions of U.S. dollars. That is a lot of money. And, you know, these guys are a big, big chemical company. And I'm going to show you their dividend history. So right here, 2013, 32 cents, then 37, then 42, then 46. Then it hit 70 in 2019. It hasn't jumped up since 2017 or 2019. So the dividend growth is not as strong. I mean, it jumped up from 46 cents to 70 cents. I will say that. Dow Inc. Um, you know, it's, it's, the dividend yield's good. The dividend yield's good. Um, it, it's the trends that look attractive. I mean, all three of these dividend stocks are hot dividend stocks to buy. You're seeing consistency right there, 42, 46, and then 70. It hasn't hit 71 cents. I mean, I can't guarantee that it's going to jump up to 71 cents anytime soon. But again, this is something to look into. Okay, it's it's something that's attractive, and it's I don't know how to say it. It's it's just a very in demand company. That's the thing about Dow. So let me know what you think of this video. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. This is Dark David, and you guys have a good one.